Hey everyone, it is that time of year again, cider making time. So we've just picked up like just a massive amount of apples, uh, probably 150 kilos of apples from uh, Dot's dad. He's got them various apple trees about the place, their place. So yeah, van was full, but Dot's got a lot of them out. But yeah, we've got at least 10, 15 bags like that and a whole dustbin full of them loads of apples so yeah cider making time this year we got the porch to work under so we'll uh, get a set up there just going to get everything cleaned and uh power washed off and get ourselves ready and then let's uh make some cider and apple juice we just so, gave the uh, apple scratter a bit of a service added some hardwood bearings to it because it was wearing away and into the softwood this is larch this has worked really well this will be the third year using it um, the concept works great, I just need to make a nicer version of it really. Um, but yeah, works brilliantly. Nicer version of that on a stand with a nice press next to it. I'll get around to it, but great proof of concept. Um, took about two hours to make and get three years use out of it. And now we know it works, good design. So yeah, get everything jet washed off. Right, we've got a little bit of a better setup this year. So we've got a bigger container so we can scrap all the apples at once. Uh, modified the scratter a bit, just so it's a bit, spins a bit more freely. We're under the porch. But yeah, gonna have a nice little cider making and juice making setup. Right, cider making 2020, is it? Yeah. Begins, probably the best thing that's gonna happen in 2020. Mm -hmm. All right, you gonna feed them in while I do oh, the drill? Yes. Or do you want to do the drill? No, no. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous on your wrists if it bites. Yeah. Right, let's do it. Oh, we used to have a lid, didn't we? Oh, it was just a... Bit of wood. Yeah. Yeah, we need that. Right, let's try again with the lid. Right, are you in charge of the lid? Or am I in charge of the lid? I don't be in charge of the lid. Look at that, took about 20 minutes and one battery in the drill. That machine is so efficient. It just took no time to build, it's just a circular bit of wood with screws all in it, in a V-shape with some wooden bearings and a battery drill. It works a treat. Right, we're gonna load this up. We're gonna try this year, not using muslin. Um, just one less, you know, plasticky type thing to use. I don't think it's needed. A few bits are going to escape through these gaps, but the gaps are smaller than the bits, um, so we shouldn't lose too much. And even if you get a few bits in the first 
uh, fermentation, it doesn't matter because we rack it off anyway. Okay, let's load it up. You're stupid, are you? Mm -hmm. I'll compact it down and just keep pouring it in the lot. I'll install it. Press. Yeah, it works, no muslin. I anticipate absolutely fine by the looks of it. I think we could hold the, uh, mm. uh, the funnel a bit just in case. Yeah. Number two, we're gonna do apple, straight apple cider, be a dry, like scrumpy cider, and then we're gonna do a straight pear cider. So we're just about going off pears, and we're gonna hopefully do a apple and pear mix. We're getting on, we got that filled up. That's uh, gonna be cider, straight scrumpy cider. And we got uh, juice to drink now, giveaway to Dot's parents. And then all that's freezer juice in plastic containers that won't blow up. Now we're gonna do pear and pear and apple, depending on how much we got. The apples didn't go as far this year. It took that whole container to do that. Um, last year we got more than that out of, uh, out of what we did. We have more apples this year, but uh, less juice. But that's okay. Still got plenty. Don't know about these pears. Do. Yeah, no, we don't. They've never gone in before. <laughs> Spray it up really well. And they're really juicy too, so I think we get lots out of that. So we're going to make straight pear cider now, and anything we got left, we're going to mix with a few apples we got left to make an apple and pear. And we're done. So we got straight scrumpy cider, pear cider, apple and pear cider, and then we got juice in the fridge and juice in the freezer. About twenty liters of juice in fridge and freezer. Um, so yeah. I've added yeast to these. I had some yeast. Uh, hang on, yeah, sure. sometimes I do this without yeast, just with natural yeast that's really on the apples. Sometimes I add some. I had this. It's out of date, but it will be fine. So I thought I might as well just use it. Um, if this is too out of date and doesn't work, there's still natural yeast in there, and whichever one has a bigger quantity will overpower the other. So no problem. Yeah, sorted. So let's put these in the workshop and wait for them to start bubbling away. Just in the, in the man cave room here is a uh, quite nice stable temperatures in here, so I'm just gonna put them on here. I think it saves me carrying them into the house. So I'm just gonna put them there. Right, let them ferment. 
Right, well the uh, cider's bubbling away nicely in there. It's been going for about a week now. Uh, there's more apples on the tree. So me and Dot are making some juice for the freezer. We got the setup going again, juicing again. Got some really nice juicy apples. We've scratted them already. They're basically just completely juice. Just really good stuff. So we've uh, got all that left to do. And we've got 11 litres there done. Plastic containers for the freezer. Let's take them out, defrost them, use them throughout the year. Right, let's do some more juicing. Get ready to other bucket, oh yeah. I'll get I'll Oh you got butter, go on. Lovely juice. I mean, it's in a milk bowl, but delicious. A bit full. Yeah, when they're a bit full, perfect opportunity to take a gulp out of them. It's only us going to be drinking mm. it, so it doesn't matter, does it? Look at this bit. And there we go, about 30 litres of juice for the, uh, for the chest freezer. So you can drink that throughout the year. All in freezeable containers that will last in the, that won't explode in the freezer at least. Great. Hey everyone, so about 10 days has passed now and uh, cider's finished fermenting, mostly at least. It's uh, stopped bubbling, so it's time to bottle it. So. Um, most of the sediment is set sank to the bottom and we're not seeing much fermentation so we can call that time to uh, to bottle. It would like to be uh, racked and left to settle for a bit longer but I don't have anything to rack it into and I don't mind if you get a bit of sediment at the bottom you just have to be careful with the with the bottle not shaking it about too much, open it gently, pour it and just leave a little bit behind because uh, you just get a tiny bit of sediment on the bottom but nothing wrong with it. Um, if we want uh, our cider to be fizzy, just move it a second. Yeah, if we want our cider to be fizzy, we have to add some sugar, priming sugar, so that we can get a bit of a fizz to it. Uh, otherwise, it'll be flat cider. So that's what I've done now. I've just I do bulk priming rather than put individual bits of sugar in the bottle. I boil water to sterilise it with sugar in it and then add that to the mix, it's a bulk prime. Um, I've done 8 grams per litre so it will give us a very fizzy cider. So let's get that added in now and then we'll, uh, don't want to put that on anything dirty. Get that added in now and then uh, let that sit for a bit. It'll mix in naturally. Oh, we've stirred up the bottom a bit. Don't want to do that. It's poor Okay, so that's our uh, our priming sugar added. So now I'll just get the bottle set up underneath it and uh, just decant it, siphon it off into the bottles, leaving as much sediment as we can behind. It's had a half hour to sugar to settle in. Poke that down there. Now your job, my dear, is to make sure that that 
doesn't touch the bottom. Yeah. So we want to keep it like there somewhere. I'm going to hold it there for me. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it's very nice. Like the tiny little bit. Right, that's the uh, cider bottled. It smells like a pub in here now. Quite nice. <laughs> uh, now to make slow gin, and that'll be our Christmas drink sorted out. Stole my moment of glory on camera. <laughs> you picking some too, girl? Slim pickings on these trees. We were a bit late picking them last year, so I want to be a bit earlier this year. They seem ripe enough. If you pull the little stalk as they come off, they split them. See, I think they've already frozen. We did have a couple of cold nights because they're already split. I think it's all right to harvest these now. All right. Well, I reckon almost all that sugar, bit of sugar. I reckon two thirds of that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Something like that. Touch more. Okay. Eat more of that. There we go. Shaking daily, open at Christmas. <laughs> we are going to be good and drunk, my dear. <laughs> right, so I'm uh, currently working on the doors, main doors for the workshop. We've got the nice open front. It's a nice evening, windy, and uh, Dot's just passed her studies. They got through. Uh, and we're going to open a cider to celebrate. So that's it. They're quite new, so it might still be a bit cloudy and I don't know how fizzy they're going to be. Oh, there's a fizz. Oh, plenty of fizz. It's going to stir up the sediment because it's really fizzy, but never mind. Smell good. Okay. <laughs> Let's get our chairs. <laughs> right, this is, is the moment. Oh, that is good, isn't it? That's lovely. That's really nice. Really nice, wow. a bit sweeter. It will, it will lose sweet. a bit of that sweetness though as it ages. Oh, yeah, oh, it's no, delicious. Yeah. Really good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. They drink about five oh. or six of them, unfortunately. Oh, delicious. Right, we're going to enjoy our drink. <laughs> 